So let's jump right in it. Let's go. Heather High Water. This one was directed by David McKenzie. And it was written by Taylor Sheridan, who also wrote for Sicario. And if you know Sicario, you see some little sprinkles of his style in there. It has Ben Foster in it, Chris Pine, and Jeff Bridges and Gil Birmingham in the roles of the officers, the two officers going after the the Howard brothers. These two brothers are going around Texas robbing banks because they need money to pay the mortgage, their 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 mother's mortgage. And Jeff Bridges and Gil Birmingham are going after them. They're Texas Rangers They're going after them, trying to capture them. So we have a story with two parallels. There's the side of the Rangers. You get some character development from their side. And they're pretty good characters. They're very strong, especially... Jeff Bridges' character is his acting is top notch in this one, as always. He's Jeff Bridges, and Gil Birmingham is also very good in in this movie. Plus, yeah, Chris Pine is in it. I like how Chris Pine is the type of dude you see in one movie, and you see in another movie, and he's totally different. And I like that. In this movie, you don't recognize him even if you've watched the Star Trek movies. Yeah, he doesn't feel like it's Captain Kirk. He feels like this new character, this new person. He's completely separated from the the Star Trek character he plays. So that's very good because some actors, when they play a role, especially in the franchise, they get too carried on it and everything they do is gonna seem like that for example Johnny Depp that's like everybody knows that any movie he's been in after the Pirates of the Caribbean it's always the same fucking acting especially the Lone Ranger which was a shitty ass movie by the way after watching that movie I regretted it I regretted giving my money <laughs> yeah I was fucking broke anyways so this movie creates a very nice parallel. <laughs> the writer does a very good job. It creates a very nice parallel between the two characters. I won't spoil anything, but you see, they're like this kind of there's sim similarities in the way they interact with each other. One is like a hard ass, the other is like the more reasonable one, more intelligent, more smart. It's 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 amazing. And the way that it was executed, especially the cinematography, whoever whoever did the cinematography on this is a genius. Especially knowing that the movie was never shot in Texas. Not one single shot was shot in Texas. But it makes it look like it's Texas. That's the beauty of it. And the cinematography, I love how the cars were filmed. Most of the time you spend with the characters, it's in the cars, so... They had to figure out a way to film those car scenes in order to make them interesting because most of the time we're in a car so if, if, if it's not interesting it's not worth watching so they did a fucking good job and the light and the sun and yeah this movie it didn't blow me away but it was clever it's very good it's a solid movie and the ending is it's fulfilling after watching it you like yeah that's what I was waiting for thank you very much Hollywood <laughs> so what did I think this is a definitely must watch especially if you like cinematography it has some very good nice imagery it shows you that you don't really need to have like some fucking special effects shots in order to get good cinematography you can it can be as simple as a f scene in in the fucking car. 
just like that or even in the diner or anywhere yeah I thought it was a very good very good movie yeah very good movie very good acting very good story yeah it's very good so it's a definitely must watch for me get in the comments section below tell me what what you thought of this movie because I enjoyed it I'd like to know what you thought what are your thoughts on it which movie would you like me to review next or which subject would you like me to talk about next because there's gonna be another video about I'm preparing a video on Atlanta yeah Donna Grover's TV show it's very amazing um, I want to do a analysis a video essay on it because I really enjoyed it so thanks for watching and have a nice one